Okay, welcome back. Australia's government has announced a 1.1 billion Australian dollars innovation plan to replace the faltering mining boom within an ideas boom. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull unveiled 24 measures which he said would help Australia transform into a dynamic 21st century economy. Many of the measures are focused on supporting entrepreneurial businesses. The announcement is Mr. Tumble's first major economic policy plan since becoming Prime Minister in September. Immigration rules will also be changed to encourage entrepreneurs to relocate to Australia and bankruptcy uh, laws will be softened to encourage enterprises to take risks. And U.S.-based rating agency Standard & Poor's has cut South Africa's credit rating from stable to negative or BBB minus on the back of slowing economic growth. The rating agency forecasts Africa's most advanced economy to grow at 1.4% in 2015. Uh, versus 2.1 percent as was forecast previously. South Africa has faced serious economic headwinds including lower commodity prices at the international marketplace and domestic mine workers strike uh, cutting back its miners workforce while operating costs uh, climb higher. Energy has also been drastically hit by ESCOM, the largest energy provider which suffers from poor facilities resulting in longer hours of, of outages hurting big and small businesses. And Chinese President Xi Jinping closes the Africa uh, China-Africa summit in Johannesburg after pledging $60 billion of capital assistance to the continent. The meeting is regarded as critical for the development of African countries. Okay, let's now bring you uh, more information as regards the summit itself. We've been joined by the national coordinator and the CEO of the Nigeria-China Business Council, Mr. Matthew Uwekwe. Thank you, Mr. Matthew, for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. I'd like us to talk about the summit, so just before we wrap up. Uh, one will wonder your assessment of what happened at that summit. Well, I think my assessment and what happened in the summit is a major uh, development and uh, let me say a major breakthrough in terms of the relationship between uh, Africa and China. Mm. So I believe uh, is a major breakthrough. Okay. Now the sum of $60 billion uh, was uh, pledged by the Chinese government to African countries. Now this includes grants, preferential and concessional loans. We also have the China-Africa Cooperation Fund and debt relief. Now what does Nigeria stand to gain from this? Well, um, when we talk about um, these 60 billion U.S. dollars, uh, it's not that uh, the money will just be shared. You know, I think countries has to, you know, present their plan, you know, before they can assess that money. This money, uh, there is a committee that was set up uh, last time. You, are, you may recall that this FOCO, as the Forum for China-African uh, Cooperation, came uh, into being around the, the year 2000. So there have been major developments. And there is a committee that has been set up between Africa and China to look into all the projects that will you know, uh, be used, uh, that the money would be useful. So I believe that Nigeria has a lot um, to gain mm. from this 60 billion because being the largest economy in Africa, so China pays a particular attention to the activities and affairs, business relationship between uh, China and Nigeria. So I, uh, my own assessment is that there should be a plan for Nigeria to assess mm. whatever they want to present their budget to the committee and it will be 
were looked into. Okay, uh, well, finally, no, just before I let you go, some have wondered why China, uh, what China stands to gain from uh, this commitment. Now, this is because this is coming at a time when its own economy is slowing down itself. Well, you know that um, actually, even the Chinese economy is also, you know, slowing down a little bit. But that no country can do it on its own. Uh, and uh, if you look at when this focus was established in 2000, then that time the business relationship between them and Africa was about 10.6 billion. Today, uh, uh, in 2009, it came up to 91.6 billion. Okay. But today, in 2014, we have about 201 billion between China and Africa. All right. So China has a lot to gain. Not that they are giving us money because they like our faces or they like Africa. They have a lot to gain. And there's a lot of Chinese in that committee that will also monitor what is going on and what that money is being used for. All right. Thank you, Mr. Matthew Uwekwe, the CEO, Nigeria China Business Council. On that note, we've come to the end of Business Incorporated. Many thanks for staying with us on the program. We do appreciate your time with us on the show. We'll see you same time tomorrow. I am Bolaji Akiwali. Bye for now.